good day. What is on my desk today? We have this mini laptop that came in for repair. It's an uh, Intel mini laptop. Uh, you remember those mini laptop with with no writing on the covers. You can't even identify uh, the mode of this laptop until you open and check with board number. Uh, I don't know why did they do this, but this laptop came in there's no power. So what the laptop is doing what the laptop is doing, this is working with 5 volts charger, so my power supply is on 5.2 2.6 amps, which I believe must be okay. And the charging port is here. Plugging the charger. Uh, we do have orange lights, but it's taking no current. Uh, pressing the power on switch, it's not responding. So all what we have is the the charging light but when you check on the power supply it's not charging it's taking like now it's taking zero seven milliamps huh yeah it's off it's off so let's open and see what might be the problem with this one All the screws are out, so what I believe is supposed to come out is the back cover. I think the back cover has to come out. Uh, the back cover is out. And here we don't have too many things. We have this lithium battery, like for tablet. Uh, and we have this small motherboard which looks okay so what we can do is to check the battery voltage that's all what we can do here we can start by checking the battery voltage uh, the battery is zero Okay, the battery is nothing. Let's take out the battery connector. Uh, let's inspect the motherboard under microscope to see if we can observe anything like water, liquid damage, and, and other things. Uh, one second. So that's the motherboard. And I can't see anything bad about this motherboard. XMC, that's the BIOS. Okay. So I think the good starting point is to charge the battery or should i start try to start it without the battery do you think it's going to work on
No. Is that the battery is not working? So let's try to charge the battery. Let's try to charge the battery. Uh, we can get ground from the USB ports uh, and the plus here, and it's taking two point two point six. I want to raise the car the current because we don't have time. 3.2 so let me charge the battery and then we'll test what's going on let's check the voltage now now what do you have now what do you have now we have uh, my pro my probes they are loose now we have 3.24 3.24 yeah, It's too low but we can test to see if the the laptop is charging Checking six hundred five hundred. I have to bend the charger. Maybe I'm using the wrong adapter, I don't know, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me look for a different adapter. What about this one? Okay, let me use my my other my other cable connected to the power supply. Uh, now with this one we have 800 900 milliamps 1 amp uh, and we have the power on light it's flicking it's coming on and goes off because we took out the battery, now it's off and it's taking 1.6 amps. Uh, pressing the power, power on button on the keyboard, the laptop is coming on. And the screen is dead. So here we have another issue. Huh? This screen is dead, but at least on the power issue, that was a highly discharged battery. And the, when you try to press the power on a button, there's a miscommunication. Um, because of a very discharged battery, the battery was at zero percent. I do believe there was no voltage there. So the motherboard is good, but the second, the, the biggest problem, the, the LCD is, is fault. You can see there's some ink here and it's flicking. So this is the point where I have to stop, because I have to communicate with the customer. Uh, I'm sure I do have one or two screens of these laptops. We have to make an agreement on the price, uh, yeah. Otherwise, um, 
We have fixed it. We have fixed the motherboard. Actually, the motherboard was not faulty, but that was just a highly discharged battery. You know how the batteries they are they are they are working. I think I explained many times when the battery is below minimum charging range, uh, obvious it won't communicate with the BQ chip and the EC chip. There must be communication between the BQ chip, uh, which is the charging controller, and the our startup chip. So on this one, uh, when it's uh, empty, should be 3.8, fully charged 4.2. It's just like the same like a tablet and the sun disk is you remember our chip our bga chip i don't know which one is is here can be this one can be this BJ chip, can be this one, but it's very easy. You can check on Google if you really want to know which one is the the storage, the storage. Because I've seen so many questions about the previous video of the Chromebook. You know, I understand when they invented the the Chromebook on 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 HP. The idea was to, to, to use the primary storage uh, to use the cloud storage as the primary storage uh, through Google Drive and they minimize the local storage which is the hard disk. But my query, you, cannot, you can't minimize local disk to 16 gig. Whereas when you want to install like Windows 10, Windows 11, they need something like 22,000 to 26,000 megabytes, which is more than 20 gig. It makes it, it makes it hard for the technician to repair the laptop, especially when the Windows is corrupt. So that, that was my concern. I know they were they were designed for typing and and stuff when whenever you want to to make your storage you have to you know you have to focus on the cloud storage but yeah that was anyway that is the repair of this laptop so let me know what you think on the comment section if you have anything that you wish to add or to subtract don't hesitate to leave a comment and i'll try to respond to you on the next chapter bye bye